Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another competitive Left 4 Dead 2 cast. I'm your illustrious Cattle Battle. Uh, cattle Battle? Fuck it. Cast a battle. Cattle. And I'm here with Dragon. Say hello, Dragon. Hello. You join us for the sixth round oh, of the custom oh, campaign tournament number three. Uh, we are on Arena of the Dead 2. Teams are Diplomacy versus Lobob. Right, where are we? What are we? What's the record for these two teams, Dragons? Is it three and two? Three and two each? Or is it two uh, and two? Yeah, I believe it is three and two each. And I think this being the last round of the uh, first phase of the tournament, uh, which, whichever one of these teams wins will go through to the last eight, I assume, and whichever one loses will be knocked out. Okay, we're three and two, we're three and two, so we definitely need to win from either one of these teams. Um, I think it's safe to say that... Um, Let's see. Oh, I don't know. Where would you put your money on this game? I mean, Low Bobs have had a pretty good run the last two matches. I think Diplomacy struggled quite a bit. But before we go live, uh, I will take a roster rundown. For Team Diplomacy, we have Maple Story, which is. Wait, I lie. That's not. I'm confused. That is not. That's Team Low Bobs. Team Low Bobs is currently H2K Maple Story Sorry, admin, no. which is Yams, uh, H2K Sideways Box, Ren, and Moscow. And do you want to take away Diplomacy Dragon? Yeah, sure. For Diplomacy, we have uh, Han, Yo, uh, Supreme Master Silver, a.k.a. Purple, Harrier, a.k.a. Shade, and Solus Ginger Scrub, a.k.a. Him. Sir. Oh, Sir, it's actually here. He's got off of all of the Evolve Alva has finished. That's right. But I do remember this map. Was this map played previously in the tournament, or am I just making that up? Sorry, I got something else going on. I can't get you back again. Um... I thought this map might have been uh, played in a previous version. What the? Oh, we've lost Warum. We've lost Warum! Fix it! Oh no! Yeah, I think actually this was in the very first CCT, I believe, as Stupid said. So this is actually like the one campaign that is making a, uh, a repeat uh, appearance. And I believe, um, isn't Carried Off going to be making an appearance in the finals as well at some point? As part of a, I don't know, is that for a third place shootout or something? I've no idea. Hmm, potentially. I'm not sure. We'll have to check into that. But uh, nonetheless, we do have all players in the servers, all casters in the servers. We have a cameraman in the server, but unfortunately we have lost one of the war rooms. So it seems that Team Diplomacy is currently mm -hmm. switching their mumble servers. So once they've switched and everything, we will uh, hopefully have two war rooms. Because it's, it's been a while, actually, since we've had uh, since two war rooms. Yeah. I think it's important we get Diplomacy's Warren back, especially to hear um, Purple's Fury, in case it breaks out this game. Yes. Mad Purple is mad. Hannibal, you fool, go watch the cast. We have a cast, we have a camera. We don't need you here. Oh, those rogue spectators. Indeed. They like to follow us around. I don't know how they follow us. They must they must be joining up someone else. What, you remember that who is the traditional whore in the bitches? server who has like a thousand people on their friends? That's because it sure as hell isn't me. I had to see. For it. So, yeah, just divide it by like the least popular and then try and narrow it down to the most popular ones. Swib, he's got to be <laughs> Swib. Or oh, Yams, he gets around. Oh my. So who are we waiting for to ready up then? Um, Shane Walsh, whoever that is. Who is that? Oh, that is, sorry, he's changed his name. Yes, that um, is. So, um, yeah, Supreme, Master Silver, which is uh, Purple, and Han. So basically three cores of diplomacy need to ready up. I'm guessing it's all down to the, uh, the mumble being switched. Well, Shane Walsh currently yeah. sir, is still asking for the mumble info, so we're off to a cracking start. I'm surprised yeah, usually... actually, this didn't seem like a very big map. I mean, considering the safe room is like pretty much just to the right of where the survivors are now, but kind of looking through it now and sort of checking the path for the map, I kind of see how big of a map it is. Yeah, I, honestly, I've not seen this map in action before versus maybe one or two slight bits of video on one or two of the maps, but never the entirety of the campaign. So I've got no idea what to expect. Well, this um, will be entirely... Marvelous end. We don't have a clue where we're going. Hopefully the survivors do, so we can just follow them like we always do and hope for the best. Yeah, I'm ready already. <laughs> um, I can see a safe room. Um, 
how I actually get there, though. I don't know. Well, uh, Fish has been kind enough to inform me that uh, Ren has just downloaded the map as of about 10 minutes ago and never played it, so... Someone's in our bow dragon. Oh, that's good. That's good to know. And the poor man has to play Survivor first. No me gusta. I had to do the same thing basically when playing for um, a few men and then Asian back in CCT2. Oh, we were pretty much all in the high. same boat. We never really practiced or scrimmed on the uh, campaigns. We just sort of downloaded them like 10 15 minutes before the actual match. That's right. And then do a slight like, sort of court run on like the first two maps or something before having to go in. Yeah, so. let's do it. That's the damn problem with custom campaigns, man. It's like if it's not Dark Carnival, Swamp Fever, or uh, that other campaign we always play, Parish. Or hard rain, possibly. We're in trouble. Yeah. We knocked the piss out of them. They ain't taking us alive. Oh, we are still waiting for these fools to ready up. Just one person left, and that is Sir. Sir. Yo, who's your daddy? He's probably still waiting for mumbling. For... Well, it's a pretty clutch game. I mean, both these teams essentially need to win. Because if they don't, I believe they're out. They don't make it to the next stage, do they? I think it's a minimum of four wins that's required to make it to the next phase. What, you remember that? This the is the last map of said phase. Pages? Well, of the initial phase anyway. So, yep, we definitely need a winner here. This is going to be clutch. This is going to be tense. There's going to be blood. There's going to be sweat, tears. And I hear music. Jesus, no, man. Yeah, sir. Uh, God damn it. It's like being oh, in a server. We're going live! We are going live. Open Finally. attack. Well, let's see what we have. We have the low bobs we on Survivor. We have Diplomacy on Special Infected. First hit is up. We have a Hunter Priest spawn coming, scratching out some doors. We have a Boomer, a Spitter, and a Jerky. And the SI are kind of far back, actually. Yeah, Shade spawn his Hunter up going backwards. He's breaking down doors and walls all around and inside the building. Um. Seems like they want to attack him inside. Uh, obviously, don't want to Reloading. use any of the roosts to attack in the opening. I mean, it's, a, it, it's a good tactic in a sense. I mean, they, they obviously, well, at least Shade knows the map. He's sort of preemptively gone round, scratched out the walls and the doors, made it a bit easier for his uh, his booming and spinning companions to get in there. Um, it, it is a 2 2. It's not brilliant, but the hunter is going in. He is going to get a pound spit. He's going to go down. He's going to fall a little bit short, but nice double, sorry, tri boom going out. Spit is going to go in for an extra scrap. And we have about 8 points of damage. It is currently taking up slowly, but nothing major. But, you know, it's better to get something than nothing. Yeah. I mean, well, it's strange because as we saw Shade with his auntie, he was breaking down all those doors and walls. And they pretty much bypassed the building now. After yeah. taking the arse attack on, on the other side. Oh, there is an event that has been triggered, though. Uh, there is a bunch of comments swarming in from the windows above the side. We do have a hunter priest. I hear a witch as well up ahead, so... Witch, and there is a charge of rocket in, charge of rocket in, he gets the charge, gets oh, the grab, hunter oh. misses. Oh. Only just, Jerky gets a little bit of a scratch as well, Boom is rolling around, Proxy's on a third survivor, so there's three survivors, Boom. There's blood everywhere. But there's a good amount of chip actually gone in, considering they've had, you know, uh, the Spitter didn't really get anything off the first attack, and they've had two Boomers for the, the, the follow-up attack. They've got pretty good chip in over three survivors. Yeah, I mean, seeing that's just two attacks, it's actually pretty decent. It's going to sort of that um, ideal quota for our attack, I'd say. Weapons and here. apparently, now that the horse ended, they can move, but now the SI have their um, spawns up for the witch. And the smoke is spawning there! Rochelle kind of been sighted. And the smoke is scratches the witch. Just has to be an in-cap on sideways bugs. Hunter bouncing around, landing on Nick. Gonna get some damage. The tank is already up, by the way. Oh, this is, this is trouble. This is trouble. Infected war room! Infected war room! Thank you, the tank has spawned in the Himalayas. Reloading. We're gonna go all the way back to safe room, I think. Alright, They might just stay at the car where they took the event. Oh. If they stay there, we'll just play rock. Why is there a golf club next to a cop car? It's counterintuitive. Some hooligan's gonna break your windows in here, cop. <laughs> Alright, for what rocks, yo. You guys go right. first. I'm going first. I missed. That boom boom. Boomer missed. Rock missed. Jockey. 
Jockey didn't even spawn, so he missed. No, no, no. Why, why would I go? I mean, seriously. Ah, oh, second pass, pass. Second pass. Game over. GG. On, you lose again. Is there oh, not a hittable anywhere here? Reloading. There was, there was a car, but I didn't get, get it. it over. Oh. Shoot the tank! I feel like this spot's Pass better for tank. us. But that's Another just shooting better. Oh, this one actually works. Are we playing rock or are you going in? He's second. I'll go in. Alright. Alright. Leave for swoop. He pull will cover. Okay. M2 though. Yo, I landed. Sports Why dead. did you kids not land? I got I got into it. Mr. Sure wow. I'm gonna despawn. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. That was the opening tank of the game for Team Diplomacy. Um, they managed to get a couple of punches in, but unfortunately, the second punch on Nick just sent him flying away from the tank's reef. So we have uh, one full in cap on Sideways Box. We have near enough all the perm dropped off Yams, but we still have a lot of perm left on Ren and Moscow. And that is the uh, Witch and Tank out of the way. Next SI hit is up, however, is going to be a Charger Smoker Boomer. And that final spawn is the Hunter. It seems yeah. that there's a lot of potential for the SI to come in from the roofs here, which they are uh, sort of preemptively doing. Hunter is currently pre-spawned above the roof. Looks like Boomer's looking to drop in as well. But because they're coming up from, you know, they're coming in from so high up as well, but they're just getting picked. Yeah, you can see the survivors are about to get now, and then Doom Boys are like popping up Boomer. Smoke up nice double. Ah, oh, Chuck. <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess one or two M2s in, but uh, they're clear the Hunter off the Bellows. And it's a great but, smoke as well on Nick of the front. Yeah, it's a shame. I mean, nice smoke, nice hunter intercept. But that charger was just a bit quicker to get uh, the final intercept. That would have been a nice try cap. Did get some work in and all in the bonus. But I think the survivors are about one more hit from safe. That's a safe rope. That's a safe from there, right there. Oh dear, so it is. And they've run past. And the spinner misses the front, front door step. I think that's like a little bit of a swim in there, but that is going to be the first map uh, completed for the low bobs on their survivor round, and they do make it with a very healthy and very respectable 352 health bonus. Yeah, it was kind of a major drop of the ball with the tank for diplomacy, honestly, because I mean, it wasn't so much that Han's approach was bad or anything, but I feel like the timing of VSI could have been a little bit better because all that Han managed to do was corner Nick, and then that one punch he landed. Ended up getting Nick out of shit, really. Uh, it's a pretty bad place for a tank. I mean, you know, you could sort of sit up there and try and play rock tank, but you're going to take a chip while you do it. And at the same time, as soon as you start pushing in, the survivors put themselves in a corner where, you know, you're just able to get obliterated by the SMG. Round is going live, however. Opening hit once again. It's going to be a 2 2 setup. It's going to be a hunter, jockey, boomer, and a spitter. Looks like they want to hit early this time. There's no more scratching out of the doors. Boomer gets what a, a nice try. Try, boom. Wow. Hunter speeds it up. Jockey does get a momentary land, but gets M2 cleared very quickly. Survivors are out. The spit is a result. And it's just, um, well, the Jockey's still alive, as is the spit. That's going to split the spawn rotations up quite a bit. Uh, jockey does get out with that. And does get a momentary re jock once again on Russia. But I think we're going to see the survivors push through this house as quickly as possible now. I don't really see um, the low bobs uh, sending in these two camping SI without the support of, say, a boomer or the spitter. So we're going to see the survivors do what the previous team did, uh, take this, to this event in this corner, wait it out. They do have uh, a witch just ahead of them with the tank, and they do have the full SI hit up now as well. So it's going to be another 2-2, but this time they do have the charger to complement the spit. Hmm. They are pre spawned all coming in, they're rocking in, boomer proxies on one. Uh, survivors do manage to get uh, the fourth survivor clear, but the hunter gets a three pound. And they're all out of the spit, apart from Michelle, who's standing in a puddle of death spit. I've got to say, that was a surprising attack because the survivors didn't really fully anticipate it. They only started looking up the moment Reloading. that the charger was about to touch ground. And somehow they, they avoided like significant amount of damage. And uh, Coach getting the crown there, getting the yeah. 20 bonus points that uh, Lobobs failed to do. Tag now up in the hands of Moscow. Yep, tank is up in the hand of Moscow. We Weapons do see the witch getting here. taken out there. And uh, as you said, you know, when that hit came in, if they popped the boomer, I mean, they had more than ample time. There is a hunter looking for a damage pants there. Gets skeeted them. Uh, Jerky coming in looking for that little jog. Looking for the scratches as well, but he's going to get denied. Boomer's going to rock it in, and he gets popped as well. Tank misses his rock as a result. 
But um, yeah, if they'd popped that boomer in midair, wouldn't that have disrupted the hunter's damage bounce as well? I mean, the hunter didn't get damage bounce in the end, but possibly it could have happened. Interesting though, uh, diplomacy are trying to LOS a bit, possibly going inside the building but making a sort of fake move. Now they're trying to rush behind the coach and trying to reload. sort of go to the same position that low bobs are in. Yeah, well, low bobs do have a tri cap. They are going to send it. It looks like they want to bank on that boom, but there is a hunter and a charger coming in from the window above. Hunter once again gets heated by purple, and the charger getting absolutely destroyed uh, as he tries no. to make his way. That was a poor SI attack. Really not coordinated well enough at all, because pretty much all SI were going in one by one at that point. It was just so easy for diplomacy. Yeah, well, this, I mean, this tank's rocks don't have much of a chance of actually hitting. Uh, Survivor's looking for the hard LOS right now. Um, so, well, tank rage is dropping really quickly. He's going to be forced to commit, and he is going to have spawns, thankfully, and it's going to be a, a double cap with a boom and support. Nice jockey and smoker. The problem is with those two SI, they die very quickly, and they can be cleared so quickly from range as well, especially the smoker. Oh, that's an interesting jump rock from Muscat there. He's now making a run in. No one's watching that boomer spawn. Oh, they oh, do get the boom. There's that smoker pop. Here comes the jockey for intercept. Tank gets one punch. Jockey is going to get cleared, though one survivor clearing the jockey, the other survivor clearing uh, the smoker. God frames on the other survivor being put, and that is the tank dead. So, pretty much a repeat of the previous tank, which were about two punches. Each punch, unfortunately, sending the survivor just far out of his own reach. Uh, health bonus sitting very pretty at the moment on all four survivors. Uh, just Shades, who's been forced to chug a set of pills. We do have the first obligatory pause of the game going out. Yeah, and, I mean... Uh, that's, uh, that's one of the things that is really interesting about um, the second pass and when the tank decides to go in, especially when the SI wants to try and make a play with the boomer. Because when you're playing in sort of games of this sort of caliber, you've got to expect at least one or two survivor players who will have a keen ear for the boomer as soon as it spawns. And it's really a case of whether that survivor in question will be equal to the boomer, or whether the boomer is in such a great spot that it's going to get you know, a double boom or a triple boom and pretty much spell the end of the round for the survivors. Yeah, well, I guess um, well, we are going live again. Um, the full SI hit is not up yet, but one thing which is interesting, it, it's the old rivalry again of Purple versus Swib almost. Because, I mean, we've seen these guys play um, in a couple of previous tournaments, including the weekend tournaments, together on the same team. And now they're separated once again. Because so obviously back in the day it was H2K versus Royalty where we'd see these two going against each other. Yeah, sir. Well, the SI hit it is up and it's coming in. Jockey managed to get a jock. Unfortunately, the door gets closed with the charger. The charger gets the fist. The spitter gets taken out. So Shay's going to run through the spit, take the boom himself, and tamp on his way through the horde. They do trigger a car alarm as well. But um, a little bit of extra cover now. And survivors should be able to move relatively quickly through this choke area. Um, right in front of the safe room, near enough. Yeah. They may get to the safe room. Yeah, they've got a whole horde on their tail, though. They'll probably have one more attack to deal with. The safe room is just up ahead. But they're going to have to be really quick here. At the same time, they're going to have to make sure they don't take too much damage. And it's a jockey on Rochelle the back. It's a hunter fancy forward, getting M2 like mad. Uh, very tiny amounts of spit damage. Nothing much in that attack, to be honest. And they've pretty much got a free um, run home to the safe room. Yeah, well, I mean, it took out the rest of Shade's perm, but at the same time, I think the jockey was... The jockey had the right idea, go for the guy in the back, but he kind of went way too early. So the survivors were just able to turn around, get that jockey cleared before the rest of the attack, which had already pre-spawned, waddled in, and as a result, 620 health bonus. That's a very healthy bonus. Well, I mean, that was helped mostly by the fact that they didn't get a single in cap to play the scene. They pretty much just kept going on full steam, and... Uh... They handled the witch better. Uh, you could argue that they handled the tank better as well, even though the tank got the same amount of damage as diplomacies did. But yeah. I mean, just more consistent survivor play overall, and just completely um, punishing low bobs for their, um, well, I'd have to say, um, more inferior SI play based on the first round. Yeah, and Shade kind of did what Shade does, and that is play the uh, mm. obligatory tampon for his team. As soon as he started losing his perm health, he just started running in and taking everything. I think he pretty much took on two full attacks by himself right near the safe from there. The first one, which was the uh, the charger, where he shut the door on the jockey, just as the jockey yeah. grabbed. And as a result, that messed up the boomer's boom, it messed up the spitter's spit, and the charger was only able to get a fist off it. 
and ju so he just ran through it all with a melee out, killed all the common in front of him. It did trigger a car alarm for his uh, for all this swinging, but you know, at the end of the day, if you've got no perm to worry about, why not? Why risk anyone else's health? Yeah. I also wonder how long it will be until we see threads popping along with our nation titled Doors are OP. Can we have OP. a fake split? Well, we do have the opening attack for the SIR, but it's going to be low bobs on special yeah. infected. They do have a smoker charger and a jerky and that spitter. Uh, smoker has been picked though very preemptively. Uh, the oh, jerky's coming in from behind. He gets stuck. Charger's fisting out the door. Charger missing his charge. <laughs> well, that SI attack did not go according to plan. Chest pumps the door so hard he somehow manages to burn himself. <laughs> I, I think, looking how that attack went, I almost think it would have been better for the charger to spawn where the jockey spawned. I mean, if the, char the charger would have at least charged mm, through that gap, whereas the jockey kind of got stuck in the wall. Yeah, that and Rochelle didn't actually notice that jockey was behind her until like in the last second. Good on hand. Well, survivors uh, have made it out of the first sort of, I guess that's more of a choke area. Uh, we do see the SI attack coming up. My spec has gone off with the opening attack. Oh, it's the worst 2 2 in Left 4 Dead history. We must get rid of this attack very quickly. There is an event. Oh, the worst 2 2, they're going in. And they have a double cap going on. Lasting a little bit longer than expected for the worst 2 2 in the game, but not bad damage actually, considering. Well, I'm surprised actually that Spitter chose to spat at the two people who weren't really capped at all. <laughs> and not like in front of the door where the survivors have to run. Oh, and there is an in cap. Uh, which? The wait? That was Shade. Uh, Completely. He, have a... he didn't do any damage. <laughs> he just ran into the witch and punched her. Or, like, he didn't even swing his melee at her. But, um, that is Shade suffering an in cap. Uh, we do see a single proxy going out. Uh, charge going in at the top of stairs. Spit's gonna go down. So you have to be careful now. Oh he goes god, down, he's gonna get gonna in, do. and he's, he's black, black and white. Oh shit. He's dropping the baby here completely. Dropping the baby? He's throwing the baby out of the pram, pushing the pram off a cliff, and then driving a car off the cliff just to make <laughs> sure that the pram catches fire. He's now black and white. He's chugged two sets of pills. And they still have a tank to deal. And this event is going on for a damn long time. Is it a button press? It must have been. I don't know the yeah, map, but I... yeah. Oh, uh, Boomer gets trapped in the door. Boomer gets shoved around, looks back in. Attack is coming in. Charger gets leveled. Hunter gets capped. Instantly cleared. Smoke goes on the same target. Gets cleared very quickly as well. Uh, there's still a shit ton of horde trickling in behind the survivors. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But they are plowing through this horrid little uh, apartment area. The tank has and now been triggered and they are in a much more open area to take. But they're going to have a lot of common swarming in behind them. Uh, tank is up in the hand of Sideways Box and the call has already come out. Kill Shade, question mark. Shade is going to be prime target for the tank here because I mean, if the tank gets a corner on him, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a free kill. Yeah, I mean, it, all, all the survivors are great options. If he gets shaded, it's a death. If they get the other, one of the other three, it's it's bonus, you know. So yeah, all... why are the SI utilizing this? There's still a shit ton of common trailing in, and the tank is that still staying out. <laughs> that boom would have started to jump off the balcony along with Ellis, and it's took off the boom. The survivors are still dealing with a lot of horde. The tank is still making play and charging the charge. Charger's got coach as well, they need to clear him. You do now clear it. Get, now you get shade from your city. Nope, he's been uh, he's allowed shade to sort of get away from that. But that's a lot of damage done to uh, Ellis's health bonus as well, but I guess the, the most important thing about all this is uh, you know, the tank took uh, only about two, well, not even 2,000 chips, just about 1,100 chips they're getting that damage, so I mean that's good for him. But he has now let the survivors in front of him. But it looks like they are content to sort of stay where they are. Uh, they do not have a boomer either, the SI, to work with here. So it is going to be another tri cap coming in. Smoker getting picked very quickly. Hunter coming in from behind. It's going to get skeeved. Just Again, a drop there. They're doing this one by one thing with the SI and. Survivors are pushing. Yeah. Tank is. Um, he's on second pass. He's at 45% frustration. He's going AI. Uh huh. They have no set of pills left though, and Sir is... Oh, the tank Whoa. does manage to get in there, just get that last This can be Shade dead. Except, you know, he's, he's turned away from Shade. 
He's gonna get the kill though, and that is, yeah. It's just for show. Like it. This is it. That's it. Although they can clip Bellis. This is still, still going, but Sai was still good to hell. It's just for show, and that's the incap. That's the one. It, very fortunate for, uh, I, I think, to make it that far with four survivors were uh, team diplomacy in that aspect. Uh, as you said, a bit uncoordinated with the SI attack on, on the side of Team Lobob, but you know, they got the job done, they got the wipe. It but, seemed uh, weird though, I mean, they were, I mean, Diplomacy were making the run for it, so they should have had the advantage, but I, from what I saw from outside the building, it looked as though Shea decides to turn back, and then the moment you decided to turn back and check where the tank was, the tank was already there in his face. Yeah, he did it twice. He did it once at the bottom of the stairs and then once at the top, and it was that last that last look back, that that peek around the corner, which led the tank to get that punch to prevent him from going AI. I think he only had five frustration, but uh, the survivors uh, are going to open the safe room door. Attack, opening attack for the SI, sorry, is going to be a uh, 3 1 with spit and support, charger jerky, and a smoker. It looks like they want to hit outside here. Uh, Jockey's mm -hmm. looking around for the spawn inside, though, to come from the rear and hopefully unsettle the survivors, but he is going to reposition himself as well. Uh, yeah. The bait. And the pause! I can only wonder what choice of words some um, diplomacy have towards Shade currently because uh, he kind of had a lot to do with what happened there and ran um, the second map for uh, Survivor. So. Well, I mean, thankfully, you know, th that does seem like a, a pretty bad place to get a tank. I mean, even if you rush this event uh, as Team Diplomacy did. Once they got to the outside, they still had a shit ton of common following them, and then the tank had already been triggered and was pretty much on top of them as well. So, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, even without the aid of a boomer, if we see um, Team Diplomacy commit that tank near enough instantly with the horde trickling in and the tri cap. Because, I mean, with no one boom, the common are just going to go for whoever the hell they want to, and there's nothing, you know, it's always that, that saying as a Left 4 Dead player when you're fighting a tank, that one common. It's always that one common that likes to screw people over. And it always happens when you're being chased by the tank and you think, right, no problem, I've slowed him down enough, he ain't gonna catch me, and then, oh, punch in the back by cop. And we are live. So, opening attack, once again, is gonna be a tri-cap with spitting support, uh, jockey position behind the survivors, the rest of the SI are positioned in front. And uh, they are spawning up, and they are coming in now. We are going to see the charge and missing charge. Spit is going to go down. Big spread, no damage, though. Jockey gets a momentary jerk, but gets cleared very quickly as well. And uh, I bet you're on my side. There's a boom. Please remove your fact, though. Thank you, sir. The, uh, yeah, that SI attack looked really wayward. It didn't look like anything landed apart from that jockey for a split second. Yep, two points of damage from the jerk. Reloading. So, uh, they are going to get another hit up now. The event has been triggered. Survivors have to be really cautious here, though, because they do have a charge spit. And, and there is a witch up there. No, Boomer does go in a bit preemptively, and he does get popped. Uh, survivors have now been stopped in their tracks by that smoker in front of the witch. But it looks like they are going to give the survivors the witch, uh, just as a charge and get a spawn. They're looking for that draw crown, which has been... Uh, she has seen someone, she's caught a glimpse. It looks like yeah. it's going to be Rochelle up in front with a shotgun looking for the remote. Smoker has been picked smoker. through the box. Witch has and been taken out. Nice. Spitter's just thrown out at the least. Charger is going to spawn. Oh. Uh, misses Charger. That was an opportunistic Charger. He just didn't land it, unfortunately. There's a jockey up looking for Rochelle in the front. It's M2 and shut down. Team Lobob doing an excellent job here of just powering through this area. Yeah, this is fantastic. We've already handled the first major choke of the game, which is the witch during an event. The um, hell was that? Keep this up. What? Your microphone did some weird loud barking thing. Was that just me that heard that? I have no idea. This is a, it's a new headset. This is the first cast of a new headset, so anything could happen. You're haunted. Your headset is haunted. We do see a boomer going in and getting shut down, though. Tank has been triggered. Uh, survivors are still inside the apartment. A spit is going to go down. Uh, looks like the survivors are going to try and take the event inside or back. They're going to run back through the event almost, it seems, but there's so much horde. Uh, tank is in the hands of Sir. Let's run it over to a diplomacy war room because I can see this tank going straight in. Do it while you're already in, though. Oh, that sounds hot. 10 seconds. Oh, no. I missed. Melee on your back. 
What's the revenge? Yo, hard. Yeah, we did it, team. Bravo's back. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. That was the uh, second tank of the game in the hands of Team Diplomacy. Hands up in Sir, and uh, he rolled straight in with that horde. It's still coming in. The survivors are dead. And the horde is still coming. So, I mean, great decision there to just push that tank straight in. They do preserve their 400-point lead. Well, is it 400 points? Yeah, it's 400 points. 400 and something points. Dragon to the mass 13. They had 300 at the end, and now it's 400, so they actually increased it. Yes! I am brilliant. 413 points is the exact bleeding difference. That's pretty much what I said. Cookie for me. I deserve a pat on the back. I don't know if you can hear this, but I'm patting myself on the back right now. Prime pan! But we are going to see um, Team Diplomacy once again retain their lead going into map 3. They're going to be on Survivors and Special Infected are going to be the Lobobs. Their opening hit, I can't entirely see, but I do see a Charger, I do see a Spitter, a Smoker and a Jockey. So same as the, the previous op map's opening hit. Tricap on Spit. And we are going live. And once again, another tight area to start in. We might need these. Yeah, the SI position on the roof is all above. Um, wonder if they actually want to hit as soon this as the survivors are on the balcony or whether they make the drop. This looks like death charge potential. Yeah, I can see where it's... Yeah, that, that whole roof in front of the survivors, the tin one, looks like ample death charge. There's, there's death at either side of it. And have, so much um, so that the survivors want to try and think about taking the long way around, furthest away from the rooftop, as if they expect that the charge is going to be there. But now the charge has actually uh, changed his position. He's going to be up front Reload. now. Hey, it's the dark carny charge off all over again. Survivors trying to bait this. They do manage to. Sit. Oh, they have baited it. Smoker is going to get baited. Charge is coming in. Charge gets mowed down. Jockey gets a Lucky they cleared that jockey as quick as it did as well, otherwise that could have resulted in someone getting, you know, the bullshit clear right right at the edge of where you usually ledge hang. Instead you get cleared and you fall to your death. But uh, that's the first attack dealt with relatively Tank's up there. Tank is indeed up. Survivors look like they're in a pretty comfortable room in which to take it. I mean, it's probably the safest room. It doesn't look like they can take it on any rooftops because it's all death punch variety. Yeah. And Although this they are rooftop... Going this rooftop they're on now seems like a good place to take it. Um, but at the same time, there's a lot of opportunities for the SI to spawn around there. So they are going to go back to the uh, the first roof just outside the safe room. Uh, the SI do have a smoker charger and a jockey. Uh, actually, let's take this over to a survivor war room. Watch out, watch out. Charger! Reloading! Oh, nice. He dropped. Nice shot. Okay. That's the best charger right here, too. Hey, Lulu. No, he's down okay. below. Just don't last the whole time. Just sit here. Yeah, we can chill. It's okay. Okay. He's not up yet. Oh, yeah. Don't don't jump. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Off. I'm gonna jump. He's Yo, up. Sir, can you get death punched again, please? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Smart ass, I'll fucking kick you. <laughs> Kicked off his own team, <laughs> just like the good old days. We're francophone. <laughs> Batteries in his gamer glove. <laughs> Comedy banter, yo. Okay, go back up now. He ju you just go back up. Coming in, he's coming in. Coming in. He could get up there. Jockey on me. Yeah, ignore me. We did. One spawn. Yeah, kinda. Only one standing. Counts though. I'm gonna die. Come on, you got this, man. Nice clear. Nice clear, man. MLG. 
One jockey up near the. I'm dead from horror. Kill it, man. Kill it. I need some help. Dark is coming. Just start picking me up. Dark is coming. Are you shitting me? me get shit, get shit. He's coming. Oh shit, oh shit. Fucker. No, it's one too early. Oh, he did too early, yeah. Damn. It's not. Get oh. You punch, you get punched Jock off. I, I got jockey. Uh, that stuff, the hunter, the death. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. That's the third tank of the game in the hands of the low bobs. Yams doing work, managing to keep that tank alive with so little HP, 147 for the time the wipe goes in at the end. But really good SI support, nice double boom, Hunter capping someone who was green, Jockey capping the other green survivor, Tank managing to get the in cap on a boomed guy, and of course, uh, I can't remember who it was, I think it was Nick that got ledge hung uh, by the Jockey as well that carried him off. I think that might have actually been coached. I think Nick was probably the one who was... Was he the one who was hunted or was that Rochelle? I can't remember. I think Rochelle was hunted, Alice was running around, I think Coach was laying at the base of the ladder just underneath the drop from the safe room, and I think the other guy was ledge hanging. Oh, yeah, Either way, right. they got wiped. Let's not worry about semantics now, but the round is going live. Team Diplomacy on Special Infected and Team Lobobs on Survivor. And here we go, the opportunities for death charges. Will we see a death charge pre tank If anything, it seems that uh, Diplomacy want a death charge here. Or they want to wipe with that tank, otherwise they're going to blow that 400 point lead. Survivors have exited the safe room, attack is spawned up. But smoke is going in very early, Jockey's going to go in as well. Charge is coming in, Charge oh. does not get a death charge, but they do get some nice damage from the charge bit. And there is a single common key from Michelle in that spit. Yeah, I mean, amazing, no one actually bothers to shoot that common to swear. I think they were just a bit relieved after the fact that no one got death charged to really, <laughs> to really worry about it. I'm not sure if we'll see the survivors take the tank in the same place or whether we might see them take it somewhere different now. No, it looks like they are going to back up and uh, take the tank in the same place as the previous team did. Uh, tank is up in the hands of purple. Uh, we did go to a survivor war room last time, unfortunately we do not have the same for um, diplomacy, so we'll keep it here right now. Because we don't have the uh, team low They're going inside this little room here. They've gone back up a ladder, back inside. Yeah, we had diplomacy, but we sent it to diplomacy last time. We sent it to survival. Oh, that's why they got they got a spare set of pills inside that room. And all the commons are stuck on the roof. They glitched out the commons. Uh, that would be illegal. The question is, did they know about that? All the commons have just died. They've all just despawned. We are going to see the tank roll straight in here. Tank is going in, got himself a corner quickly. The melees are out for the survivors to get a nice double punch to clear himself. The SI can't need to get in there. Double. Oh, the charge just stumbles the jockey off. Tank is doing work, but I don't think he's going to be able to get a wipe. He's got two survivors down and there's two melees on. Jockey's got that third survivor. One more punch. Oh, the tank is killed. Oh, dear. Purple was so close to completing that wipe, but <laughs> it was just little tiny mistimings between the tank and the SI just and support. It could have been so almost a white, but and that was a pretty significant balls up by the charger. Not only did he stumble the tank with that charge, he stumbled one survivor and bumped the jockey off the other. That, if that charger had just gone fist city, it would have been a case of you know more damage and the jockey would have been able to hold his target. Interestingly, no mention by the SI team about the fact that um, the commons have been glitched out. Whether they actually uh, noticed it or not is another thing. But yeah, I guess they didn't have a, they didn't really have a boom to work on as well. The smoker is currently uh, looking for a, a crafty little pull almost. It looks like another, uh, at least a ledge hanger. Rocky looking to try and get an approach at the end. Oh, charge! Oh, charge! Just almost misses dropped it. in. <laughs> almost jumped into the bar for the charger. Coach just saw his life flash before his damn eyes. I was gonna say, Coach was really dicing with Death Bear. He was still hanging back, not dropping, dealing with the I'm jockey first, then almost drops in front of the charger. And they are closing that lead as well. There's only a 200 point gap separating the two teams. They do still have that charger though retained from the previous attack. The attack is up and it is spawned up. Uh, Spit is gonna throw out a nice delay spit. There's three survivors standing in it, but they're on a lift. 
And now it seems like diplomacy is SI's in total disarray. I mean, we just seen a charge and try and sacrifice himself, trying to get into an elevator. We got a hunter lone up front, going rogue, clawing windows, trying to jump up on the rooftop with a witch waiting up ahead as well. But, um, this is exactly what low bobs needed like a break to get ahead and start making back points. Yeah, well, the hunter just gets killed there as well, and that's going to split the SI spawn timers by such a large margin. This is another death charge potential here, but there is no charge. Oh! God, Sideways going to mess up the crown, but. Yeah, they don't really have much health bonus to sing to sing home about, so I wouldn't be surprised if we do see the diplomacy manage to get the wipe on them. But at the same time, they're blowing the get you know the distance that they had the the 400 point lead. In fact, they're just about to blow it now. They're about 30 points from doing so, and they've blown the lead. And they do make a 232 bonus themselves. So Team Lobob takes the lead going into map four, 2,066 points to 1,855. Uh, diplomacy needs to sort of regain their composure a bit here now. After that um, initial fail to wipe with the tank, it seems that you know their SI just kind of they got unlucky that they didn't get a death charge on Coach when he jumped out the window. But at the same time, you could kind of see the coordination lacking severely. There was at least an 11 second gap between the spawn timers for them last to attack. Yeah, and I believe this is the finale coming up, isn't it? Is this a four map campaign or five map? I am not sure. I shall check now once we get in there. Uh, well, I've seen Arena, Reloading. so it looks pretty finale-esque to me, I think. I mean, speaking with x in the build-up to this match, I, he actually said to me that it, this um, finale is unsurvivable. So, based on that, it seems like Lobobs have really got the best position they can they get here. Oh, there's an instant attack going. Charger again missing, but the jockey taking Nick to the left. A fair amount of damage going on the ball. Oh, and Coach oh, takes a little bit of a sinking death. Uh, there is going to oh. be a pre event damage. Oh, that tank punch. Nice damage. Oh, the multi. Shay is just going full beef the tank, but quickly gets sliced with the melees. And well, the survivors this... manage to make it. Yeah, there's there's two um two massive chunks of bonus missing there. But um you know, they kind of wanted to wipe with that tank. I'm, I'm not sure if I would have pushed in that quickly with that tank. I think after I got that multi punch putting the survivors back in that safe room area, I'd have stayed out. And just stopped them from being able to push down the uh the walkway. Yeah, I mean melee strength is one thing, but the fact that Shay went and did that without any SI support. He just went in there, decided to get the damage. Well, we're not going to see a draw attempt on the wood. Uh, SI content to sort of stay out here and just wait to sort of make something of this alarm gun. Oh, right, nice charger. charger. Grab Michelle. And they do trigger the car. Smoke wasn't going to pull as well. Uh, doesn't matter too much the damage of Michelle. I mean, they've committed nearly all their pills at the moment. There's only one set of pills left. Uh, which Sideways Box has now chugged. So that's all four sets of pills gone. Bonus fully disappeared on Rochelle and, uh, Moscow. Yeah, well, I mean, I think the thing, uh, Lobob should focus on first is actually getting the distance. Especially with this health. I mean, how many more tanks are there to come in this finale? One tank or two? Uh, I mean, God, it's about two. If it's uh, if it's a scenario, uh, scenario that's been banked as unsurvivable, yeah. Well, whether it's one tank or two, they just gotta focus on, you know, preserving their health as much as they can, even if they're not gonna make it to the rescue vehicle. We are seeing the horde trickling in. Uh, SI look at the spawn tip, but it doesn't even look that there's many places that they can spawn. They're all sort of spawning at a decent distance away and coming in from range. The hunter has now uh, pre-spawned as well. Have they even triggered the event yet? I don't think they have, so it looks like they are waiting for an attack. It is going to be um, a tri-cap with boom support. Uh, hunter jumping around, Jock coming in from behind. Charger gets a nice oh. charge, boom is going to get a quad boom as a result. The attack hopefully. If only there was a spitter for that though, that could have been humongous damage on the ball with that charge. 
Yeah, if, if that was a spinner instead of a hunter, that would have been perfect. We could have waddled that boomer in and just proxied on all four of them in a puddle split and a double charge to go out on top. But we are seeing um, Team Lobobs extend their lead. But it looks like they're sort of making it into the holdout area now. Yep, I definitely hear a radio. Uh, the next SI attack is up. And it is going to be a smoker, spitter, charger, and a jock. Attack is coming in now. Charger gets himself a charge. Spit goes completely the wrong way, though. Yeah. I think the spitter got confused about the, uh, the angle the charger was going at. And just thought, okay, I'll plan it there. Turns out I'm on the other side of that uh, the scaffold. It does seem that has the, uh, the event has been triggered. The radio has been turned on, and this almost looks like a bit of a dark carnival-esque finale. We do see a boomer get a cheeky little spawn in front of the survivors, but they are going to pop in very quickly, as does the hunter get destroyed who spawns just at the boomer one. Smoker looking for a pull down. He does get the pull, a very extended pull, actually. Yeah, this is going to try and shoot the smoker before he has to be uh, clears it. Charger coming in, doesn't get anything, just charges himself straight into a wall. We've seen a lot of burning charges in this game, actually. It's we have indeed. It's like that damn mod that you can get for chargers now, where you see a trail of flames behind them when they charge, except these chargers have like, intentionally set themselves on fire and just hitting walls. It's like you think you can block my add-on? I'll just set myself on fire with a barrel, thank you very much. It's like, I see your attempts to block my add-ons and raise you. this a barrel. Survivors are slowly bleeding out. I don't think they have any sense of pills left. Spit is going to go down. A nice double cap going in. Uh, Nick is going to get in cap. Ellis might go down to Spit. No, he is out of there. Uh, they have two sets of pills left on their person, which uh, Nick will be chugging one set of when he does eventually get up. And there's just a little bit of bonus left on Coach. Uh, the rest of the survivors are, you know, all down to an in cap, even, apart from Swift, who's yet to go down. And of course, yeah. Asu's holding the, uh, the health bonus. But it looks well, like we are going to see the tank triggering very shortly, if not now. Another attack coming in, smoke a charger and spit all coming from the same spot. Charger, no chance. So that charge early to end his troubles. Yep, and there is a tank. Tank is up in the hand of Shane Walsh. Okay, sir, um, let's roll over to a diplomacy war. Should we get on the stadium? Any other chance? Yeah. Well, all that shit. Oh, coach passed. Pop this pill in the sand. They're gonna be pretty slow. What are the points stop at? 400, 500 something? I'm ready, what's gonna happen? Oh shit. Ellis is almost down again. You gotta be careful. Those pumps. Yeah, no. I'm gonna hide you. Keep pause at trade when. No. Wait, what? Han said he needs a pause. Oh. I can, though. <laughs> we have to make the whole map now. Do we now? Mm, yeah. yeah, kind of. Well, I mean, isn't there only it. one tank? Yeah. There's only two. Yeah. First yeah, tank and the second one. If he can kill the first one without taking a shitload, then we're fine. Any minute now, Han. 
Lobo sub PG. <laughs> no, I run no, apart and back. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mom! That's professional. Next I don't like you. You say that's professional? F6, on us 4 you just need to hide. What's your frustration now? Uh, I would say that I'm pretty frustrated. No, like... Oh, you need to like 75. Oh. Yeah, you can see my frustration, so I don't no. know you're asking me. I just see team status. We don't really want you here, XY, but if you got to come back, I suppose there's no chance. No choice for us either. I take it that war room is a particularly quiet place. Okay, so yeah, in this brief interlude, they're thinking about getting some tacos, probably breaking out some card games and some whi uh, whiskey. Probably Purple's going to offer us one or two more sex tips like he did back in map 2. Yeah, but no one wants to trust Purple and because now, Purple can't be trusted. And now Swib is doing the same. Well, look on the bright side, this gives me an ample opportunity to talk about my glorious Milky Way stars. I'm, I'm stuck, Dragon, I'm going to have a choice. It's Milky Way stars or gummy bears. And oh, the choices. Milky Way star. It always Damn. leads back to the chocolate. It always does, that's the problem, man. And I know if I say, right, I'm going to grab a beer, and I, as soon as I get off my ass and start moving towards downstairs, someone's going to come back and ready up. Decisions, decisions. And with the way the survivors are at the moment, I mean, there's no reason why this tank should not wipe. I mean, Moscow's got like one HP and no pills. Swib is slow. Uh, Yams doesn't really have, you know, much health to speak about. And is currently bleeding, yeah. as is. Uh... With this current health, I'd be surprised if a tank didn't wipe. But what um, diplomacy needs to realize is that their. The low bombs have got about 448 distance points as we speak. And. That's on top of the 200 lead they already have after the third map. Are we going live? Are we live? x by get out of here! Uh, uh it's you're at the 50. stadium. I downed him, you're at 50%. Yo, 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 yo! No, come on. Hit two. You really don't need the hittable, man. I'm gonna go AI. I need to let go AI. If you go AI, then you're gonna get back. Okay. Hi, <laughs> Rock. They're all like one punch. Forget the hittables, man. I want the hittable. I have to hit it. I want to get this frag video going. Just play back. Oh. <laughs> okay, I go. Uh, he's really low. Not the help. I've got to save him. You shoot the tank. Are we hitting or is he going in? I don't know. You guys going in? Guys can go. Yeah, I'm going in, but I can't go. Go, 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 go. go. That's it. Last guy. 
He's 10 health, just hide. Oh, we right. did it. But we yeah, it's all about the first tank. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. That was the final tank of the game for Team Diplomacy. Managing to secure the wipe. That is going to be a final score for them thus far of 2,534 points. And it looks like Team Diplomacy is going to need... Ooh, how many points? We're looking at about 700 odd points. 680. So they need to make it past the first tank, past the second tank, and if there is a third tank, potentially onto that. They need the rescue vehicle to show up to sort of guarantee themselves a victory. If they don't get on the rescue vehicle, it don't matter. They'll have enough points to actually win it. But this tank is going to be... Um, this is going to be a test. I mean, the SI know exactly when this tank spawns. As long as Moscow is in the tank for them, that gives them ample opportunity to save this spitter, just to either block the survivors into one tiny corner, or cover this entire area in just spit and death and mucho damage. I mean, the one saving grace with diplomacy in that previous round is that the fact that the tank did so much damage that, you know, they had to chug all their pills, they had four people bleeding before they even made it to the event button. But they still have to take about three or four SI attacks before they even get to that point. And of course, the yeah. witch is right on the side. This, this opening tank looks really vicious as well, just because of a limited amount of room the survivors have. And not only that, but I mean, this is a really crucial tank in the sense that diplomacy's chances of actually making sufficient distance to win the game depends a lot on how well they handle this opening tank. Because if they suffer like two in caps, that's pretty much them going to be you know, out of the game, unless they can ace the second tank. We did manage to bend the spitter from getting anything. A tank has moved himself into a slightly better position. Smoker is going to get picked. Tank has put himself between the survivors and the escape route. Um, should we throw us over to a diplomacy war room? Do it. Yes. Yeah, let's throw it over. Reloading. Oh, in this room. Everybody in. Melee is really? around. Oh, is this God. the same room that they took in? No. No. Yo, spread out. Like corners. Play oh corners. God. Spread We're gonna get right in here. Yes. <laughs> Follow me. Yeah. Got right next to Do some team. Uh, Thanks, sir. Thanks. No one caught block the door. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, and that is the game right there. Uh, congratulations to Lobox for clinching the match win and securing their place in the playoffs of CCT3. Commiserations to Diplomacy, a huge shock as they were a team billed as one of the top favorites to go very far in this tournament, perhaps even clinch the overall victory, but they are knocked out. They will not be making it to the playoffs. But uh, what a play, what a tank there as well. It seemed like the SI support made just the right um, moves as well as to sort of pick up any stray survivors that the tank had punched around to complete yeah. that wipe. It seemed that no one really blocked that doorway after the charger got in there, and then the boomer waddled in, got himself, a, you know, obviously a quad boom, but then they left the boomer up for so long that by the time they actually took him out, it just freed the charger who was free to recharge another person and stumbled the remaining two survivors. So, I mean, diplomacy kind of let it slip on map three. They let it slip big time on map three, and um, once again, I, I think the opening tank of the finale for them was a bit too preemptive. I would have waited for the SI support. But nonetheless, commiserations to Team Diplomacy and congratulations, as you said, to uh, the low bobs. They do make it over to the playoff. I'm not sure what that map will be because it has not been announced yet. Who, oh, who else has joined them? I believe Apollyon is. Um, Revolutions is also in the playoffs. Low bobs. And unfortunately, I cannot remember the final team. Is it bedtime, perhaps? Or is there still uh, another match to be played to, just, to determine those games? I believe Revelation is... I think Revelation beat bedtime earlier today, I think. I think that was mentioned on Alpha League Nation. But I think um, bedtime still had like a four wins to their name. So based on that and their resistance points, they should, in theory, already be through. Yeah, uh, I imagine so. So if that's the last four teams, then... <laughs> I could see Purple immediately going to uh, Counter-Strike after that match. Uh, He's going to.
he's going to go invent his frustrations and earn more skins. But nonetheless, um, I have been battle. I have been joined by Dragon. I'm not cattle this time. I even got it right. So we shall get our way over. Um, I'm not sure if there's any other games tonight. There may well be. Um, keep an eye out for the posts on Left 4 Dead Nation and obviously the Steam groups. I think H2K Pug is usually where most of them go. Um, thank you for joining us. And as always, have a pleasant evening. Good night, all. So-